in Detroit. You play a Detroit cop in this movie. So, you know, I salute you for your service on screen as a police <laughs> officer. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's kind of like what we really needed. I mean, I just laughed. And it was just well, so good. good, you know. I love to hear that. That means a lot to me, especially especially from, from a, a real Detroiter. I, you know, th this movie, I'm so proud of it. And I, I hope that it just provides a little break for people from, from all this anxiety and and right. uh and pressure and and a lot of people really going through some hard times and um and you know there are there are there are two things that i think are lighting us up right now one is the in the he, these heroes that are working in the hospitals working in the grocery stores working at police stations and uh you know all, all the people that are just keeping things going that's incredibly inspiring and then i hope as we all look to entertainment for some distraction and some some laughs here and there, I'm finding great stuff, and I hope people find this movie among other things, and and it actually uh, brightens their day a little bit. You're a police officer. There's some weird stuff going on with criminals in the city, and then your girlfriend's son is basically just you know trying to break you up. So it's like, yeah, I just need some sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's a great, it's a classic caper. You know, it's kind of a yeah. it's that buddy cop structure yes. but it's not really a buddy cop because it's the kids me and a 12 year old kid so uh right. but it's it, it's really in the it it's kind of an homage to those great 80s cop movies like die hard and lethal weapon mm -hmm. and you know it's that level of action and oh and beverly hills cop which right. uh another detroit reference there there you go um, <laughs> You know, that's that's one of my all time favorite movies. And that's really the tone that we were going for in this movie. And I hope uh, I hope people feel that and and get a little bit of a nostalgic laugh out of it. Well, it was funny when you mentioned that I was going to say you and the young man who played together had such a you know fun rapport. Hey, this could be the new buddy cop series. You know what? Why not? Let's make 10 more of these things. I would do it. I would do it in a heartbeat. This is one of the most fun movie making experiences I've ever had. Taraji P. Henson, right? Yeah. Th th this incredible dramatic actor with, with such, uh, so much gravitas and esteem. And I, I just, I hadn't met her before this movie, but I was such a fan of hers. She comes in and, you know, she's the funniest person in, in the movie. I mean, right. she's just, <laughs> she can do anything. She's right. like uh, she's like a, a a a Swiss Army knife of acting. You want you want comedy? She can do that. You want drama? She can do that. And it's just and the action. She she has a fight sequence in this movie that is like unreal. Oh, yeah. And just she yeah. commits so hard to it. It's awesome. And then also you've got another Detroiter in the movie, David Allen Greer. He's one of my he is one of my heroes. Yeah. And, and, and delivers in this movie too. Just walked in, was, got it, understood exactly what he was going to do and, uh, and just slayed us all on set. Fantastic. Well, like I said, I know Detroit, they're going to love it because like I said, it's from here. Like you said, yourself, everybody else in the movie, fun cast, fun movie. And thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Greg. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate your kind words. And I hope you stay healthy and safe.